Hey guys, welcome to Cutting Through the Illusion of Mind. So in the previous lessons, you have become much more confident, much more realized in the space of awareness itself. You've gotten to know yourself as the pure I, as that crystal clarity, as that spacious awareness. Now let's talk a little bit about cutting through the illusion of the mind. What is the mind? Basically, the mind has two aspects to it. As the space itself, it is the awareness aspect or the cognizance aspect, the consciousness aspect. Now as the contents, it is the what we would generally simply call mind aspect or the thinking mind. So when I say cutting through the illusion of mind, I'm talking about cutting through the contents of mind so that we can see the space that makes up mind itself, the cognizance, the awareness itself. So the thinking mind when it brings up a lot of thoughts in sequence, when constant thoughts follow up on previous thoughts, this creates a dense layer that, similar to clouds blocking the sun, tend to cloud us from being able to directly notice and experience the space of mind itself, or the awareness aspect, the awareness principle. So when we cut through the illusion of mind, what we're literally doing is we're breaking up that chain, that sequence, so that the density of that clouding uh, principle of the thinking mind becomes penetrated. A necklace is only able to be a necklace and hold up all the beads if the string remains intact, if you do not cut the string up into little pieces. So the string needs to be continuous, needs to be constant, it needs to be sequential, it needs to form one dense tight concept in order for it to be able to hold up all the beads. Now if we cut through that string, then the necklace falls off of your neck, becomes useless as a necklace, and all the beads start falling off of the string as well. This analogy shows that similarly with the mind, when we break up those sequence of thoughts, when we break up this continuous thought stream, even for just two to five seconds, it is like cutting that necklace, the string of the necklace that upholds the whole illusion of the necklace, of the beads, of all the individual stories. They're all tied together because of the continuity, the denseness of the story. So when the space of awareness is filled with too much thinking mind, what happens is that consciousness forgets to perceive, forgets to be able to perceive that it is its self-consciousness. It no longer sees its own effortless, spacious nature. It is now clouded, it is now filled with thought, it is now filled with dense perceptions and reference points. So, with every two to five second moment of sincere resting as awareness that you induce into your everyday life thought stream, you're breaking up that chain, you're breaking up that string, and you will find that very quickly those beads, those individual stories, they will start crumbling. They will start losing their significance and their meaning. All because you simply cut through the continuity that combined all of these into this dense, tight, clouding story. So cutting through the illusion of mind is done by simply breaking that thought chain over and over and over again for simply two to five seconds. So it's these brief moments of crystal clear awareness that will set you free, that will cut through that illusion. Now, the idea many people have about enlightenment is that you somehow need to refrain from thinking whatsoever at all, that you need to have a crystal clear spacious sky all the time. This is not necessarily true. What we want to do is we want to realize that the sun is always already there beyond the clouds, right? So we stand here on earth and there's this dense layer of clouds filling up the sky. And because of this dense layer, we can't really perceive the sun that's on the other side anymore. However, the assumption then could be that we need to remove all the clouds in order to fully enjoy the sunlight. While to an extent, this may be true in this analogy, it does not completely go for the fact that we need to have no thoughts because what we want to discover is the fact that the sun is always already there 
we want to see the sunlight. We want to know that it's there even when there's clouds. Now it only takes one patch of, one patch of cloud to be removed for the sun to shine through. And it doesn't matter where on earth you stand. If the clouds disappear over there, but they're still present over here, you will see the rays of the sun. You will be reminded that the sun is actually there. Of course, it's nice sometimes to be completely clear and to be completely without self-induced mental perceptions or thought forms. That's nice, but it's not necessary for you to become more convinced of the fact that the sun is always already shining. All you need to do is poke little holes through the veil of the clouds. Poke little holes, penetrate the veil of mind, the illusion of mind, the denseness of mind. And when you penetrate that veil of mind over and over and over again in several places, then the whole thing starts to fall apart and crumble because the cohesiveness of it is interrupted. When we interrupt the co seeming cohesiveness of the illusion of mind, we start to realize very clearly that the sun is always already there. We start to realize the space of awareness itself. So again, to come back to your experience, take a deep breath and give away all thoughts, all clouds for two to five seconds. And in those two to five brief seconds, notice awareness. Notice I am aware and rest as that awareness for those few seconds. And then continue thinking. That's fine. Continue referencing things. Oh yeah, I need to go use the restroom. Oh yeah, I need to go pay my bills. Oh yeah, I promised to call my dad. So then go do these things, go think about these things. And then you catch yourself. Oh, wait a second. Let's take a two to five second moment. And so while you're walking over to the phone to call your dad, you recognize that you are awareness. And that in a sense, these perceptions and these thought forms are occurring inside of your field of vision. But now you're no longer clouded because the cohesiveness of thought is interrupted for a moment. And so the sun, the shining sun of awareness shines through the denseness of mind, through the, illusion, through the illusion of mind. And you remember once again what it's like to bathe in the sunlight of awareness, in the restful ease of awareness. And so the more often you break this chain of continuity, the more the illusion of mind will crumble and fall, right in, fall apart right in front of your eyes and reveal more and more and more of the ever-present sunlight that is yours. The dense illusion of mind has been formed through years of habit. The habit is to constantly, unconsciously, automatically think about things and refer to things outside of yourself. Now, all we need to counter this, all we need to, in a sense, become enlightened is to simply insert a counter habit. The counter habit is to be really consistent with those little short moments of awareness where we break up the denseness of the chain of the continuity of the thinking mind. So simply stop thinking for two to five seconds over and 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 over again. This may sound like a chore, but it's not. It's actually fun. It's actually immediately liberating. It's actually immediately rewarding. It is actually immediately shifting your sense of identity from I am this or even I am to simply I am free or I, I, I awareness. I am the truth beyond all objects, beyond all appearances. So what you want to do is you want to habituate awareness, moments of awareness, just like you've habituated moments of denseness of thought, of unconscious thinking. Now you want to habituate the clear, restful space of awareness itself. So develop the habit and the insistence, the, the commitment, the dedication to actually apply those moments of crystal clear, pure awareness and make every moment even purer, even clearer than the previous one simply by being really sincere about that moment, really wanting that moment. I've noticed in my own experience that the more that I desire a moment of absolute clarity, the more absolutely clear that moment becomes. And the more grounding and convincing that moment of clarity, that moment of awareness becomes. The more I can 
utilize that experience and it will propel me into everyday life with a sense of clarity that maintains itself even throughout the thinking mind. So we want those really brief but really profound and sincere moments of stopping all thought or at least becoming really clear of the space of mind itself rather than the contents of mind, the illusion, the denseness of the thinking mind. So again, break that chain over and over and over again for two to five seconds and be really consistent with this just for the rest of your life, basically, but at least for the entirety of this course, in addition to all the other homework that I'm giving you per lesson, always at least 12 times per day, take a really sincere moment of two to five seconds. When you do this, you will start to feel the denseness of your illusory mental chatter break apart. The sun will shine through, the sun that is awareness, the freedom that is awareness, the effortless ease, the inescapable ease of being, of awareness, will shine through everyday experiences. And you'll become more comfortable with yourself. You'll become more comfortable with yourself around other people. You'll become more comfortable around yourself, with yourself during times of great distress and believing that there needs to be a certain outcome. All these things start to relax, all these perceptions that cause you stress because of the seeming continuity, the seeming denseness of mind start to break apart. And again, when the continuity is broken up, the illusions that are projected can no longer seem real. Let's say you're sitting in a movie theater and suddenly the movie, you're one hour into the movie and you're completely on the edge of your seat, you're completely absorbed into the story. But suddenly the projector light stops for two seconds. Boom. You're snapped out of the story, out of the movie. And now the movie starts playing again. But there's a slight difference from before those two seconds of the movie not working, not being projected onto the screen. The difference is that now you know you're watching a movie. Now you remember that the screen is there regardless of the images that are projected onto it. Similarly in everyday life, you Stop taking your own stories very seriously. Your thoughts and emotions no longer seem as real because the continuity has disappeared. So you don't have to remove all your stories. You don't have to stop thinking altogether forever. You don't need to control your mind in any way. All you wish to do is to interrupt, just tease, just interrupt that seeming continuity of the denseness of mind, of the thinking mind. And then it will all fall apart for you effortlessly. The illusion of it will be shown and it will no longer seem real. And then you can't believe in your trouble and your drama as much anymore as you could before. Because now you know it's fake. Now you know it's self-projected. Now you know it's an illusion. And when you know it's an illusion, you can even have fun with it while you are always clear of the fact that you are transcendently free awareness, untouched, unaffected by the changing forms of the story, of the movie, of the illusion. This is all established very effortlessly by interrupting the continuity of thought for two to five seconds many times a day. So your homework for today's lesson is to at least study this lesson two more times before you proceed with the next lesson. So either listen to the audio, watch this video again, and or read the text or a combination of these. Number two of your homework is to sit down at least twice before your next lesson for 30 minute section each, a 30 minute period each, where you consistently notice the denseness of mind, the denseness of thought, of perception, and you repeatedly, consistently bring yourself back to penetrating that veil with a moment of absolute sincere clarity regarding I am awareness. I'm not this thought. I'm not that thought. Just break through the illusion of thought and into the clarity of now awareness. Two to five seconds at a time over and over and over and over again for about a 30 minute period. And notice how with every moment the illusion of the denseness of mind starts to thin out and existential relief starts to become self-evident, starts to become obvious, starts to become natural. This real true existential relief starts coming forth. Oh, it's the relief you feel when you notice that the things you were stressed about are nothing but illusory projections. 
and that who you truly are is always already effortlessly here. You can rest in it, you can abide as it, and you don't need to worry about the coming and going of experiences because you are timeless, you are eternal, you are changelessly free awareness, no matter what happens. So do this twice, at least twice, or as often as you would like and feel comfortable with before you open your next lesson. And after each sitting, write down a few paragraphs where you state all the things that you noticed, the things that stood out to you, the differences in your experience, the shifts in attention, etc. your realizations, write them down again, sort of as a diary. And then just simply continue. Um, this is number three of your homework, simply continue to rest as awareness, clearly, vividly so for two to five seconds, at least 25 times a day before you open up your next lesson. And like I said, continue this throughout the entirety of this course at least 12 times a day, regardless of the other homework that the other lessons will give you. Have fun, become enlightened, become clear on who you already are. Rest as your timeless self. It's fun, it's really enjoyable. Try it out.